All right, so we have an SSG video. This is the Surge SSG Smooth and Step Generator. It's the original version from Surge. Um, we have some updates from Random Source regarding the frequency range of the smooth side, which gives it a lot of fantastic options in the audio region. Um, we also have some exponential switches, this one and this one. And what those do is those change the slew of the rates. So you can get different patterns by those switches. So you do have a couple things that are pre-routed and that's not on the original. Those are these exponential switches and which cross feedback to each other. This, this stepped one goes to this VC rate knob and the smooth one goes to this VC rate knob if there's nothing plugged into here. Um, so on the original, you don't have cycle switches. Now we have cycle switches, which is cool. So let's go. So the way to get the SSG started, and I often use it in the center of a patch, is to just go with the smooth as a clock. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cycle the smooth side so we can listen to that. So you can hear it in audio rate. So the clock goes all the way up to audio. The great thing about Surge is it's going to track all the way from audio rate all the way down to LFO rate on a trigger mode. So you can also listen to the cycle out, which is a pulse output. And then to get this, the step side going, the easiest way, I like to use a stackable cable, is to go from the cycle to the sample. And then the pulse from the smooth side is gonna activate the step side. You don't necessarily need to put anything into the input in this version because you can just cycle the step side. So that's going to get the step side going. And once you have those two sides going together, you then can hear. So now we can listen to the out, the stepped out, go back to audio rate. It's like a grain granulized kind of waveform. You can also listen to the cycle out, which again is going to be a pulse wave. So in essence here, it's a division of this pulse. So, so they're different frequencies. So if you listen to them both at the same time, then you can have different harmonics. Um, okay, so once you have both sides going, the fun thing about that is then you can use this coupler. And what the coupler is, is a combination of both sides. You hear the smooth side, and then you hear the step side combining together with it. So you have these two harmonics coming out of one output. So it's really nice. Uh, Anyway, so the hot is just really hot. So before you plug in the hot, turn it down. It's 10 volts instead of five volts, which this one is. So it's much louder. So if you want to get some distortion, use the hot output. Um, all right. Welcome back. We're going to do a quick demonstration of the exponential switches and the VC rate knobs along with the smooth and stepped outputs to show you what those do. <laughs> Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is the expo switches. So when you have the left, when you have it patched in this mode and you have this expo switch up, you can see that this one is affecting. That's the cross modulation I was talking about earlier. And on this side, when you go up, you hear... So expo up on the left side from the smooths, it will activate the right side expo switches. And when 
the right one is down then you have these different cross modulation options so basically that's what I wanted to show you there so now we're gonna listen to an oscillator so on this oscillator I'm gonna show you what these I'm just gonna plug into the volts per octave input um, and here's the smooth side triangle wave so the step side then you can hear what the step does so depending on where these two knobs are set give you a lot of different combinations and the expo switches they also change the patterns And you can play a lot with the cross modulation with those knobs. So you can also VC control those knobs. So if you have the slope generator, for example, you can get some fun little rhythms out of it. So we'll go to the other side. So when you do that, that's really how you can swing your clock because you got a VC rate on your steady signal. So depending where you send that. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is the hold function. So I'm going to cycle the other DSG and I'm going to send the end out to the hold. What that's going to do is start and stop the smooth side. So if you use something like uh, this and you use the gate out, um, when you push the button it should stop it. So the next thing I want to show you is we'll get to the inputs and that's really the whole module and we've gone through the whole thing. So instead of, remember earlier how I said that you have to cycle this side, so instead of cycling this side to get it to work, you can feed something into here. I hit the expo switch. There we go. So we're going to put white noise into the end. So this is a way to get some more chaotic kind of steps out of it. You can put anything into there. Different things react in different ways. So you can try also the oscillator. So now the oscillator that's sequencing is also control um, giving information for the step to work. The last thing we're going to do today is we'll run some audio through it. So right now we've been using the filter, the VCFQ, and if I move the volts per octave to here, we'll just give, show you the stepped on the filter. So I'll try a quick feedback patch from the filter for fun. So I'm going to run instead of the oscillator into the step side, I'm going to run the filter, see what that does. Not as much. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, we'll leave it with some bass. Okay, so I'm gonna now I'm gonna take what was the last thing to do? Ah, we we'll take some white noise. We're gonna run it through this the SSG. So we just heard that as a filter. This is also a surge filter, but it's called the the smooth step generator. So it's cycling now. But when it's not cycling, it's like a it's a filter, so you can control the VCA or the What's that called? You can have to set the VC rate knob to open the audio through. So if you put like oscillator, 